You're now two meters inside an Umbaran jamming field. If I've pressed the right buttons, we should have adequate privacy. I received your message for the Red Blade. Yes, perhaps a bit obvious, but I thought your pirate cover appropriate given the circumstances. So how is Independence suiting you, Agent? No one to answer to or interfering with your decisions? I didn't expect we'd ever meet again. I'm glad you called. I appreciate the sentiment, but I'm sure you understand if I'm not here to socialize. How are you even alive? As it turns out, there was concern that I had arranged for certain documents to be released in the event of my death. Instead of execution, I was granted early retirement. Sounds very straightforward. Very. I assure you, however, I am no longer involved. I've come only to ask you a personal favor. The Empire is surrounded by enemies. The Republic, now the Revanites. We need people like you. Not anymore. I've accepted my fate, save for some unfinished business. Shara Jen, the former Keeper and Watcher too. Go on. After the Star Cabal's disillusion, Shara was unwell. The damage to her brain from the Cabal's trap had been considerable. I remember her medical droid. She had trouble speaking. Add to that her conditioning. She was programmed for loyalty, and we had her working a rogue operation. That aggravated her existing cognitive and psychogenic trauma. She's fortunate she didn't become a vegetable. During Lord Malgus's uprising and the chaos that followed, she was unable to protect herself. What happened? She was captured by the Republic. I intend to free her. Shara saved my life more than once. She was important to me for a long time. I owe her this. As do I. I've made arrangements already. She was carbonite frozen and placed aboard a prison transport, which was then raided by pirates. And now the raiders have brought their cargo to Rishi? Precisely. The final step is to retrieve the body and erase all evidence. No one can know what happened. I intend to negotiate Shara's purchase from the raiders. While I do, I need you to provide leverage and cover our trail. Why not a clean sweep? Eliminate the raiders and take Shara. No negotiations, no witnesses. People would start asking why. The SIS would piece it together. This mission needs to be forgotten, not buried. Very well. What sort of leverage am I providing? To begin with, I suggest you slice the raiders' data banks and transmit their files to me. That should facilitate negotiations. I'm sure they've made indiscretions we can use. And after that? You'll have the frequency to listen in. You know how this works. You'll find what I need. We can rendezvous here once I've acquired the carbonite. All right. Let's bring Shara home. How are you feeling? I've been thawed from carbonite, paced by 25 needles, and injected with something I can only describe as liquid humiliation. I'm pleased you're doing well. I'm right. Did you tell me? I can see stars. Am I on a spaceship? Yes, you are. You're safe and you're going to be better soon. Don't condescend to me. My apologies. If you'll excuse me. Hold transmission, silence audio. You said we'd all meet back here. Yes, I lied. She's on her way to a private medical facility. I couldn't be sure you'd approve. We both have her best interests at heart. Or am I wrong about that? No, I suppose not. Shara will be cared for in secret by a group of richly compensated medics and scientists. In a very slow and regrettably painful process, the damage to her brain will be repaired and her loyalty programming undone. You can do that? There are no guarantees. My people say it should be possible. When she is free, I have advised her not to rejoin the Empire's service and to make a life away from conflict. She's never had that chance before. She always deserved better than what we could offer. On some level, I think she hated her programming. If I'd known she could be cured... She couldn't then. And I know. Talk to her if you like. Say your goodbyes. Shara? Do you recognize me? Are you concerned about hibernation blindness or the brain damage? Of course I recognize you. The minister, former minister, says you helped me. 
I don't want to do this, Cypher. I don't want them to decondition me. Tell me where you are. Look at the stars. Listen to the engine. That mind of yours can piece together coordinates. You'd come shooting and take me home to Drummond Cars. I've got enough sense to say no. It's all right, I think. I just don't know who I'll be. You're going to be a free woman, with a brilliant mind and half the secrets of the galaxy. If anyone's going to end this war, it's you. How many sides of the game do you expect me to play? But I appreciate the confidence. I'm glad you're here. Stay and talk for a little while. I believe our business is done. I have a retirement to get back to, and while I don't expect we'll meet again, I believe I've said that before. Retired or not, you're going to watch over that woman. You'll see to it that she recovers, and you'll make sure no enemies find her after. She's going to live a very peaceful life. Yes, she will. But don't underestimate her, either. There is one other thing, by the way. I may be out of the game, but you're not. I heard rumors intelligence is on the verge of reforming at last. Darth Marr wants you to advise and oversee. Independent, but with full access. Darth Marr considers my independence to be treason. Yes, but you'd be a check against any Sith who'd use intelligence for their own schemes. A new agency will need new personnel to replace those lost. I have files with potential recruits, untraditional but highly skilled. What kind of untraditional recruits? Military deserters, terrorist sympathizers, and Malgus's alien insurgents. All of them believers in a better empire. Believers in a different empire, perhaps? But no part of my empire. Still, any new intelligence will need expendable manpower. Their sacrifices will buy us time to rebuild. They may be more difficult to call than you expect, and you will need them. But as I said, I'm out of the game, and the files are yours. Watch for enemies within and without. Everything is on you now, and you know the stakes for civilization. <laughs>